sport sort of naturally lends itself to um, experimentation and particularly the kind of use of, of, of technology. This is a world where results are everything, performance is everything, strategy and tactics are everything. AI is really, really brilliant at all of those things. So when you're able to bring that into the mix, you end up with some really, really incredible um, opportunities. What's interesting about the way in which individuals and teams use AI is slightly different. Individuals, we be much more about what wearables they can have to measure their performance, what they can do in terms of biometrics and all that sort of stuff, nutrition, um, health, injury, injury prediction, those sort of things. The teams are, are much more interested in the tactical side. If we go back five years, or maybe even more, um, eight, ten years ago, it was all about big data and the idea of what was being collected. AI is now really starting to show what can happen with that big data, how it can be used. And so then, as a fan, it means that every interaction that I've had with, with that club or with that team that I follow, can now feed into my future interactions and engagements with them. People have an idea about F1 that it is very high tech, that it's very data driven, that we calculate a lot of stuff and that we are very dependent on simulations and that is 100% true from the design of the car, uh, the optimization of its aerodynamics. We are absolutely investing in it for the future, we absolutely can see that it will become a more and more important part of our world, but it's not the core part of our world yet. <laughs>